Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and I've just finished my 10th week, 70 days of a cure-all fast. So, here's my report about why I'm still feeling strong. So, how does it feel after 70 days on a fast? Well, I did cheat a little, I told you about that. After 56 days, I had had six meals. And uh, last week, I was in Toronto, had another Korean buffet. Not much, but uh, that's a seventh meal. But still in 10 weeks, you know, I mean, it goes to show that you can live on a starvation diet and not feel weak at all. So quick recap of uh, how it works. Uh, the book, Water of Life by John Armstrong about urine therapy, his solution to all diseases was to put you on a starvation diet, a fast, and make you drink all your own urine because urine is not a waste product, as you've been trained to believe. It's a nutritious product like milk. Milk, nutrition for kids, captured from the blood by the mammaries, and urine, nutrition for adults, captured from the blood by the kidneys. No dirt can get in. It's all blood products with water. Now, uh, the good stuff we've discovered in past videos is that there are stem cells in urine and the Chinese have regrown teeth using pluripotent stem cells that can become anything, which is why if you pee on a cut, it heals. All the parts grow back. Wonder why? Stem cells. It's got DNA in it, vitamins, minerals, hormones, enzymes, and a seven-year study by 20 researchers in Alberta found 3,000 chemical components produced by your own body, captured by the urine for use in the outside world. Now, if you had an accident on a submarine or a spaceship and there was a little hole, you'd have to go plug it on the inside, then get repair materials to the outside, plug it there too. The body created such a mechanism to get medicinal components from the inside to the outside to repair outside too. And that's what urine is, miracle substance. John Armstrong called it liquid flesh. So he found that by putting people, recycling your own kidney milk, all that nutrition meant you could put your digestive system to sleep. 70% of your immune system liberated from working to keep all those food toxins out because you don't have any food toxins going in. And the only thing going in is blood products of your own body that's immediately accepted without work, waking up the digestive or immune systems. So he found he could put people on long fasts. His longest, he said, was 101 days. Okay, now, I, <laughs> I've admitted I've had meals. I've had... Six meat in my last report after 56 days, I pointed out I had six meals. Events I go to, I'm not a fanatic, but still, imagine I wasn't hungry, I've never been hungry, and the rest of the time, well, I had another meal last week. I was in Toronto after a court case, went out to a Korean buffet. A little slivers of meat wasn't much, but the point is, here I am 10 weeks with only seven meals, and I haven't felt weak or hungry once. Oh, I'm tempted, you know, when I dream of eating stuff, it's always like chomping it and, you know, big amounts going down the gullet to feel full, you know, but it's not the stomach demanding anything happen, it's just the mind. So, giving up food for 10 weeks wasn't all that hard after you started, you know. So, I'm going to keep it up. We know that we've been all infected by a lot of fallout from Fukushima in the last couple of years that's been coming down in the rainfall. And if we're going to do anything about our cancers, we've got to do them while they're small. And I can't think of a better overall, general, effective treatment than starvation for the cancer cells that cannot cope with caloric restriction like healthy cells do that hunker down, get tougher DNA, and live longer. So, 70 days with only seven meals. Don't know when I'm going to be tempted again. I'm feeling fine. I've dropped 34 pounds. First time I've been under 150 since I was a teenager. 149 this morning. Historically, I've always been about 183. I once hit 217. Wow, 30 keys more. And that's all gone. 
So, I mean, I used to be at 38. And now, if you pull it apart, you can see their six inches are gone. I got to go get a new suit. So, anyway, I'm happy with the results. I'm still feeling strong, and I'm going to go on and see if I can do it some more. So, uh, you can bet the next one of the video when I go out and eat and say I'm off. I felt hungry. I got to eat now. I'll let you know. But in the meantime, gosh, I hope this kind of information can give you the strength to give it a try. Especially fat people. You know what I mean? Diets that keep your digestive system alive a little bit every day, screaming more, more, more. What fun is that? Shut it down. Won't scream at all. And watch the pounds come off. Half a pound a day, they say. So, give it a try. A starvation diet backed up by miracle water seems to be the way to go.